Hi, welcome to this week's GTA 5 o'clock. Uh, every Wednesday at 5 o'clock, as the name suggests. Uh, I'm Tim Weaver, I'm here with Dan Dawkins. How you doing, Dan? Yeah, very good, thanks. Dan's got an excellent pair of, I believe they call them in the uh, music biz, cans on his head. And we'll, uh, we'll soon uh, tell you why and what we're up to. Uh, because this week, on GTA 5 o'clock, we're going to try and compose the ultimate... GTA playlist. If a man dropped down from space and had never heard of GTA before, these are the top 10 songs that we think would explain what the GTA series is all about. Dan, do you want to tell us how we're going to whittle these down? Yeah, what we, we've thought about this in lots of different ways. Like We came up with what we thought was a short list of our favourite songs across all the GTA soundtracks, and that spans from, well, GTA, GTA 2, GTA 3... GTA 4, GTA San Andreas, GTA Vice City, uh, Vice City Stories. Liberty uh, City Stories. Liberty City Stories. Ballad, Ballad of, of Gay, Gay Tony, Tony. Lost so, and Damned. So there's a there's an awful lot to choose from. Now, you know, the things like Ballad of Gay Tony added 50 songs alone. Mm. Uh, it's absolutely mind-blowing. We thought this was probably easier than it's proved to be. But what we've done is Tim and I have whittled down our personal favourite 10 and in fact, well, 10 to 15 tracks each. Then we're going to thrash through them. We're going to just we're going to put our case forward for why we love those songs. And then Tim and I are going to compose the ultimate kick-ass top 10 based on if you were at a party with aliens, as always happens. Yeah. This is the playlist you crack on, and the alien would go, "Take me to your leader." And by the way, what's this excellent first track? <laughs> what game is it? I really must try it. So I hope that explains the logic. Because, um, of course, Dan, when you're compiling an album, you've got to take into consideration all sorts of stuff, like what's the ultimate way to open an album? It's with an, an absolute zinger that's going to get people up. Um, and, you know, like we, we were talking in the office earlier about how you know the GTA games are very clever at this. In that yeah. When you go into a ra- one of their radio stations, they kick off with a song that is an absolute zinger. Give us an example. What was the example you gave earlier? It was... Um, Help me out here, Dan. I can't uh, remember. Well, I didn't want to, I didn't want to spoil the megaton, but it's all about light and shade, basically. So you can either you either hit on the bomb drop with a real big get the party started number, or you start slow burn uh, a little bit like maybe GTA Four did with their first trailers, where they had that song by Philip Glass that was really right, yeah. simmering, set the tone, lots of like skyscrapers with sunlight trickling across them. You can do that, or you can go in with the megaton. Uh, we'll probably do that in a minute. I'm not going to give yeah. away my big guns okay. just yet. All right, cool. So I, I don't know what um, how you've structured yours, Dan, because we've uh, in a brilliant piece of prep. I didn't bother checking with you, but um, have you done them in order of, of how they'd be on your ultimate album? Because oh, I, I haven't. I've just literally done ten that I love. Well, that's fine because I've just picked fifteen that I really like. Right. Okay. So if you want, I'll hit in in no particular order with my fifteen that I mega love. We may as well start with one that will rock your socks off. Okay, here you re- we go. Are you ready for it? And hopefully you'll get a little blast yeah. of this on the on the YouTubes as well. Let's have it. Bingo. I'm talking a little bit of Phil Collins and Philip Bailey, Easy Lover. Great video as well, Dan. I think we agreed in the office. Here we ba, go. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> this really kicks ass. And again, I'm going to regress into some sort of horrible Partridge-esque, <laughs> Alan Partridge-esque for the global audience, yeah. uh, who's a hideous parody of a TV and radio presenter. Oh, That's me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to this song, I am just a hideous parody of myself. Yeah. Why, why do you, what do you love about this song? Uh, it makes me feel like an easy lover, to. <laughs> Does it? Uh, no, it just, it's just utterly badass. It captures the complete sort of insane vibe of the 80s. It's like the height of the pop charts. And I guess to put some context into it, Tim and I are probably both gentlemen of a, a certain age. Yeah. Uh, and in the 80s, these songs would have been, I guess, like sort of my teenage soundtrack or something, yeah. or like, you know, young soundtrack. And I hear them and I'm straight back to watching Top of the Pops and being a kid in front of the TV. And more than anything, this track is absolutely brilliant. It reminds me of like cruising in a soft top along like... Uh, Miami, you know, like yeah. keys or something. You it's know? got a real. Um, it's a very, it's a song very of its time, isn't it? It like feels very eighties. There's like, if you recorded this song today, yeah. people would be like, "Nah, I'm sorry." But it's like very of its, it's very of its time, and it immediately puts you in mind of Vice City. 
What chat? What uh, radio station was this on, Dan? This is on Flash FM, and it's in GTA Vice City Stories. Dan's, Dan's still dancing here. He's, now, he's absolutely love it. The danger is, I could listen to this probably all day, but I'll give you straight away my second track. Okay. Bringing it down a peg. Tonal isn't it? shift here, too. Yeah, it's, it's light and shade, as you said. Exactly, and this is a little bit of shade. Oh, yeah. Oh, just, just suck that in for a minute. Just, uh, Dan's got his eye closed here, he's swaying from side to side. Now, this is America's Horse with No Name. Yeah. This is wicked. This, for me, is the sound, the definitive sound of breaking out into that. Oh, it's very loud in my earphones. <laughs> uh, breaking out into the, um, into the sort of countryside in GTA San yeah. Andreas. And I'd be like on my Harley, and it would be like on the purple alkali flats, mm. and you'd just be gunning loose, just you versus the dirty terrain, yeah, <sighs> yeah, yeah, just fizzing out into the range, <laughs> and just hearing this song play, like it's gotta keep accelerating for all time. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> that is badass. I'm excited. I'm really yeah. feeling it too. I like the I like the the shift as well, Dan. Even though you haven't got them in any deliberate order, here, it's a nice. It's bringing it down a peg or two from the the crescendo of Easy Lover. <laughs> You know. <laughs> right, well hopefully if I can ever find my <laughs> next track. Ready? Here we go. Hello. Yeah, see? It's only We're keeping it ambient. JMJ. Yeah, it's Jean-Michel Jarre, Oxygen. Part under toi cat. Cat. <laughs> cat. Yeah. I yeah. had to count to four like a child, a French <laughs> child. Uh yeah, this is a belting track. Uh, this is from uh, GTA 4 and The Journey. Yeah. This is perfect, again, in a similar way to like Horse with No Name being the track you put on as you cross the Alkali Flats. This is like going across the Algonquin Bridge. It's midnight. Just the glimmer of the, you know, the skyscrapers in the background. You've just done some serious man shooting in the brain. <laughs> yeah, You've got a lot yeah. to contemplate. Yeah. And what better way to lose yourself than a bit of Jean-Michel Jarre, I always say. Yeah, it's... um. I don't know whether this spoils the uh, the uh, the setup here, Dan, but I also had this in my top ten, so uh, it was it's just got that real, like you say, like the city at night, you know, the sky the skyline just towering above you, all the windows kind of winking mm. in the sky in the skyscrapers, and you you're belting down the road, and you just got a bit of JMG <laughs> JMG kicking out on the radio, my life, is there a better feeling? Listen, to how many octaves our voices have dropped? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Right, uh, my next track is. Cutting crew. Oh man. And they keep on coming. I just died in your arms tonight. I just died in your arms tonight. There must have been something you said. I just died in your arms tonight. Oh yeah, there oh, it yeah. is. And when that sweeps in, it's like being blasted with a hot shower. Yeah. Not not a bad hot shower. A, a lovely, good hot shower. A lovely hot shower, a, yeah. Like a uh, tropical hot waterfall shower yeah. of bliss. Uh, <laughs> 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 Tim, I'm loving this. Yeah. This is revelatory. It is great, yeah. Um, yeah, this is brilliant. This is from... Uh, there's a danger of my entire top 15. I had to stop myself turning into the Emotion 98.3 yeah, love list. It is, it is dangerous. GTA Vice City soundtrack is incredible. Emotion 98.3 is probably my favourite channel. Again, talking back to the stuff about the 80s, I'm a mega sucker for the 80s. This song is absolutely belting. Do you think that uh, Vice City sums up the 80s, uh, the soundtrack sums up the, the, the game the best of all the soundtracks? Because actually, when I was listening back to the soundtracks earlier on, I've, I've always had that in my head that the Vice City soundtrack is so perfect for the location, but actually, when you go back and listen to the soundtracks of San Andreas, as an example, yeah, you get a real. It's actually very, very well constructed. You get a real. I, in my head, I was building a real picture of that world while I was listening to the music, even though I don't love the music in San Andreas in the same way as I love Vice City. Yeah, I think San Andreas does a great job of like uh, isolating its locations. You get Radio Los Santos when you're in like urban Los Santos mm. and it's the sort of Dr. Dre feel and NWA is intense and gritty. And just the complete relief that when you break out towards Mount Chiliad and, and you know, and the outside, the countryside, listening to like, um, sort of your Johnny Cash style tunes and yeah. all the country stuff and K-Dust, it's a real change in every sense, you know, mm. from the way the geography looks to the sound and it's really fantastic. Vice City, like you say, I think it nailed 
weirdly like the most contemporaries and if you were in the 80s you could imagine that being a, a, an accurate depiction of the radio channels at the yeah. time and like such a great selection of 80s tracks oh yeah I mean brilliant I mean I just I just wonder whether we were like prejudice towards that just because these are the songs we grew up with do you know what I mean without but, a shadow of a doubt and I'm sure we are yeah. but I, I, you know San Andreas has that same kind of vibe to it like for people who grew up listening in, in, in grew up in the 90s listening to hip hop and that it must be the same sort of feeling we get from Vice City I yeah think. and I, I love it because a load of the GTA 5 o'clock audience it's really mixed so we've got loads of people who are into loads of different things now for someone who's really into hip hop or rock I do wonder what their feelings are about this next track I'm about to drop in <laughs> right now. I, I, I can only imagine that their feelings are strong. Surely everyone alive likes this song. This is amazing. This now song. this is, as you well know, oh man alive, that's good. <laughs> Synthesis. This is, um, <laughs> Africa by Toto. Uh, this is brilliant. Again, it's Emotion 98.3, the best channel ever. True story, I cleaned my house on on Sunday or Saturday from top to toe, and I did it while listening to this track. Really? And doing the dishes, absolutely whistle by, let me tell you. Do you know what? For a long time when I was growing up, I thought the lyrics of the chorus were, I guess it rains down in Africa. You mean they're not? No. Why are they? Isn't it that... I bless the rains down in Africa. Is it? Are you taking the mickey out of me? No, it's honestly, no, I'm not being ironic. I literally don't know. I might be wrong then. I what I do is go. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Africa. Yeah, yeah. I think that, that that'll so that that'll do. That's largely how I do with it. That's right. a great song though. All right. Uh, for me, Toto. Yeah. Right, Africa. I'm all about. I'm all about Toto in Africa. But all their other songs count me out. Scroto for the rest of them. It, it matters not. If a man can sit there at the end of his days and say, I composed the Mighty Africa yeah. with the almost in indecipherable chorus, yeah. uh, I have truly lived. It, let's listen, Dan. <laughs> yeah, so I bless the rains down Africa. I thought he said, I guess. Re listeners, tell us. I suppose we could just look it up uh, on the internet. Well, yeah, we could do you, that. You carry on, I'm going to oh, look you, it up now. You look it up to prove some point that no one cares about. <laughs> yeah. Everyone in the comments can say Tim Weaver was right again. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to take a straight on to my next track, a complete tonal shift, just to wake people up at the back there if they've had a couple of too many glasses of uh, John Smith's. I'm going to rock straight into... Where is it? I bless the rains. Okay. Yes, I bless. It, it, ain't, it ain't that one, Tim. All oh, right, sorry. I, I'm rocking you straight in with... The Bogs, arm in arm. Brackets the shy child mix. What the hell is this? Fight. You listen to this. You know what this is? Yeah? It's the defining sound of GTA 4. Wait till it gets going. You know what this is, don't you? You do know what this is. Listen. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I... I couldn't, I couldn't tell what that song that was. You will now when it gets going, really. Ready? It's coming. It's great radio. You can't see me tapping on my pretend drums here. <laughs> Come on, this oh, is badass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, this, this for me captures that tonal shift where I think GTA had started to feel like it was it was a, like a retro proposition. What GTA 4 did was contemporise it and set it back in New York and it was right at the height of that kind of hipster chic, um, electro, ironic counterculture mm. thing. And a song like this, like absolutely nailed it. It's like, you know, dudes with too long hair, too tight jeans, strolling down Brooklyn in counterculture stores. It's got that exact right bang on feel about it. Mm. I yeah, like it. It's, yeah, it's good. Good song. Good it's song. a good track. Now I'm going to shift from this to. I walk along the avenue. I never thought I'd meet a girl like you. Meet a girl like you. Yeah, see the party's up now, and we're talking "I Ran" by Flock of Seagulls. And this again, it's got a sort of hipster feel, but a 1980s hipster feel. Yeah. This is from... This is from Vice City. Vice City. Vice City story yeah, and Vice this again City. is probably the defining anthem. Again, it was on one of the trailers for Vice City. Yeah, that's right, it was. This yeah. really just takes me... Oh, this is badass. 
just takes me straight right back Flock into it. seagulls, isn't it? But I'm going to increase the pace now, Tim. Yeah, let's rock it, rock it through him, Dan. Well. Woo! Oh, oh, wait a minute. Ha <laughs> ha, segway. What's this? Bap, 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 bap. Yep, oh, there it is. Okay, it's it's rocket. Is that how kids speak these days? Is kicking? I don't know. Uh, no. This is fresh. Yeah. Attention anyone who's not <laughs> over 30. <laughs> yeah. uh, you probably don't talk like that. Uh, this is Rocket Herbie Hancock. This track is wicked again. Um, this, this for me, we'll have, a, we'll have a stern conversation about this for the top 10, Tim. Because this is one of the, a good song to get the party started. It is a good song to get the party started. I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess it is. But... Is it a bit too funky straight off the bat? You're saying it's like, it's funky ass, not badass. Yeah, I'm saying that if this came on at the disco and and you know you were uh, you were in there and you were uh, you know you, it's so loud that it's going through my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that if it came on and you you were like, would you get up and dance to it? Because it might be a bit too funky straight off the bat. Is what I'm saying. You want something to no, ease you. You want something to ease. I don't know. Character, you know, if, you, if you're coming after a couple of drinks, you're ready to pop lock it straight away. Yeah, but you know, you don't turn up. Do you turn up drunk? I guess you might. I guess it speaks ill of me, Tim. Yeah. Uh, that's for Wild Style in GTA Vice City. That's a great song. Uh, an even better song is. Oh, man. Yeah. Now, this is from Flash FM, GTA Vice City. It is, of course, Out of Touch. This, is, this song is immense. <clears throat> this song is the Everest <clears throat> of songs. Oh, this is truly colossal. This, this is just fantastic. Hall and Oates. Damn, I love Hall and Oates. Daryl Hall and Mr. Oates. Who's <laughs> yeah. the other guy? Uh, Quaker Oates. Quaker Oates, that's him. <laughs> yeah. I can never remember the Oates' his name. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't remember either off the back because I'm so in. I'm in a wall of music right now, yeah. Tim. Uh, yeah, this song's badass. Flash, GTA Vice City, continuing the 80s vibe. The Vice City soundtrack could dominate my entire 15. Do you know what this stop reminds myself. me of? Before you move on, this yeah. reminds me of. Uh, Careering across a uh, career across a golf course in a golf cart. Oh, does it? Yeah. In life or in the game? <laughs> in the in Vice City, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've never done that in real life. Well, we'll, we'll move from this into. Okay, bring the mood down slightly. Yeah. What we've, had, we've had a crazy ass day on the golf course, right? This is where I, I, the mood would work. Yeah. You've had a badass day in a golf course. You may or may not have killed someone with a golf club. That was like lunchtime, it's mid afternoon. Got a few rounds, maybe a little cheeky evening cocktail. You sat on the balcony. Yeah, just feel that vibe. Oh yeah. And the sun setting. You can feel this, this like the heat prickling on your skin. I bless the rains down in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> and you can feel this song melt away. And this song is, if I haven't already said it, is Cool and the Gangs. Summer Madness. Was this in a, this was a trailer, wasn't it? Was, it? was this in a trailer for I, Vice City? I don't know. Was it? Perhaps it was. This bit, the vibes. I'm this, sure. I'm sure it was. This is the song that sounds closest to the, to the audio signature of sun waves I've ever heard. Yeah. It just feels like sun rippling when, against your skin. When I hear this song, I just automatically think of Vice City, and that's why I think it might have been used in a trailer. Oh, because I'm like, this is Vice City for me. This is Vice City. This song. This this song like encapsulates the whole like yeah. sun kissed kind of low rise pastel coloured. Miami kind of vibe, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's amazing, and it's making me actually really sad because it's like the middle of March in the UK, and it's minus two today and yeah. snowing. Minus two and snowing in the middle of March. It's so uh, yeah. hearing this song has essentially made me sad, but it's not quite a ridiculous as concept as wearing sunglasses yeah, at night. That is a... I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can. What is his excuse for wearing sunglasses at night? Because his eyes are cool or hot or where he's somewhere really bright. We're gonna have a look. I'm gonna have a look, Dan. It's gonna tell you now. But this is Corey Hart. Again, it's from GTA Vice City. It's from Wave 103. And Tim's gonna tell us exactly why he wears sunglasses. I wear at night. my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can watch you weave them, breathe your storylines. I don't really clear it up, does it? Really? Is it mean like? Like in a sort of West Country dialect, so I can, so I can, <laughs> so I can. watch you weave, like weaver. So I, so I can, so I can keep track of the visions in my eyes. Oh right, so he's got like an eye disorder. No, I see that as he's having like he's got so many he's mad a thoughts. 
He's got so much going on in his mind, he has to wear sunglasses to contain the madness. Oh, uh, right. Like okay. a visor on his own twisted psyche. Yeah, listen, Dan, anyway, don't <laughs> don't switch a blade on the guy in the shades. Oh, no, don't masquerade with the guy in the shades, all right? I would not ever contemplate such a thing. Right. But a great song, anyway. A great song. Even if the lyrics are... Hmm. Popular from the movies, this next track. Also popular from GTA. Here he is. It's Roxy music more than this. Do you know what? When you present all these songs, all these songs together, like this and uh, Summer Madness, which we just played, and Out of Touch, and I Ran, they've all got like a real. I don't know where it's the choice of synth or what, but they've got like a real, like nineteen, just nail the nineteen eighties feel. Yeah. And yeah. you know, because you get some songs from that period. Like we were talking about, a, we'll talk about it probably later because it's in. I think it's in my list. Yes. But there's a particular song from the 80s, which is as, like, it, it sounds like it could have been recorded yesterday, but these all sound, like, very of the time. And that's yeah. not a criticism yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they immediately put you in mind of Vice City. I'm sort of fascinated as well. If the people who've managed to listen this far into the show, yeah. if they're thinking, oh, my life, just stop <laughs> wibbling on about the 80s. Or if they're thinking, do you know what? Like, they are classic tracks. Because I, I listen to a lot of songs from the 60s or 70s when I wasn't born. And I do listen to them and go, hey, that's a great tune. So yeah. I'm hoping that certain tracks have just got that thing where they sift through time. It's yeah. like, that's just a great track. Uh, yeah, this is uh, probably more famous now for appearing in Lost in Translation when it's sung by Bill Murray to uh, Scarlett Johansson when they got that karaoke bar. Right, yeah. That's making me feel quite the, wistful. The only thing I remember about Lost in Translation is going to watch it mistakenly with uh, my wife and her parents, which who were over from South Africa. Uh, and it went to that nightclub scene where it had that song where um, it, I think the tune was Fuck the Pain Away and it was just deeply embarrassing. Ah, great times. Well, let's become even more offensive by talking about some cheeky tits and acid. This is getting the party started. This is from GTA 4. This is from Electro Chop in GTA 4 and Simeon Mobile Disco's Tits and Acid. Oh, that's some bass, Tim. What does this remind you of, Dan? Take a little bass bath. This again just reminds me of... Oh, Whoa. yeah. Changing channels. Again, I'm on the bridge. I'm in a badass Sentinel-style car or a sports motor in GTA 4. I just pop some fools with an AK. I'm just going pop back... Pop some fools. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going back to see Roman. And I'm thinking, enough contemplation. Let's get distressed. Woo! Yeah. And I rock this on. And I'm just like... Yeah, I might yeah. be going on a date. I might even go to McCreary's. I'm thinking I'm going to that crap wood line bar. What I'm going to do first is get a contemporary and rock out some deep bass line tracks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I mean, that I'm sounds... some nonsense. That on. sounds like the sort of thing <laughs> that, uh, that a, a white guy from, uh, from South Wales would say. Listen to this. Oh, yeah. Right. I can't tell you how good I think this song is, Tim. It is good. It right. is good. We're going to get contemplative now. With Prout I Go, Surely a Typo, by Philip Glass. <laughs> this is the song Rockstar chose to announce GTA 4 of the World. Mm. In that first trailer that showed purely Liberty City, loads of pans of the skyscraper in the day-night cycle. And like you know the um, what do you call it? Place where all the lights are. <laughs> it's good geography, the, isn't it? The in city. the middle of New York, you know. Liberty City. Liberty City in the middle. Where oh, to Times Square. Times yeah. Square. That's the words out of my mouth, Tim. Yeah. Uh, Times Square, and it just um, it just nails again that that sort of sense of scale and awe. You know, it's mm. it's a wonderful track. And listen to oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I'm getting. Now I'm getting it. Yeah, with the old. <laughs> And just all that speed time of like the clouds ripping against the skyscrapers. This is like Rockstar getting something spectacularly right and choosing a song that... That trailer was brilliant, you know? Again, the way they do their campaigns is so fantastic. And this song just sort of... It's portentous, it's big, it hasn't got to say a lot to set the mm. tone. I really think this is them getting it right. Now I'm going to change tack again. So that's from The Journey on GTA 4. This next track goes to Liberty Rock Radio, finally a rock track. 
also from GTA 4. This is probably one of my favourite songs of all time. I love this song. This is 1979 by Smashing Pumpkins. And it is like about a song about reminiscence and a time in your life and like, you know, uh, being a fond memory of the year 1979 and the sort of lost summer, lost times, innocence of youth, all that type of thing, all wrapped up into one. Makes me genuinely quite choked. Did him. you did you love this song before it was featured in? Yeah, uh, def- yeah, massively. Yeah. What was it? GTA Four, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I love this song, and uh, oh god, I well, actually can't Dan's, speak. Dan's struggling. He'd like to thank his family <laughs> and his uh, agent. <laughs> yeah, my agent. Note to self: get an agent, um, so I don't appear like Alan Partridge in any more of these shows. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I love this track. It's just so, and it, I think there's a theme. A lot of the songs I've chosen, maybe whether it's me or the fact that Rock, Rockstar do this so well, just that contemplative feel and that sense of like sweep and scale, mm. and songs that you know force you to reflect on your own actions. I think that's absolutely perfect. It's what they do brilliantly. This is a great track. Next track is "Goodbye Horses" by Q Lazarus. This is Buffalo Bill's track from... Oh, Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Oh, right. When he's dancing around, Buffalo Bill pretending to be a lady, and it's like... Arr. Yeah, he got... Arr. I'd flump me. <laughs> You'd flump me. Arr. Put the lotion in the basket. <laughs> and like he's doing all that stuff. He's rocking out to this track, and Great it's like... Fat person. For it, because of those reasons, it's 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 hideous song, but it's, it's a beautiful, seductive mm. song. Uh, but it's tinged forever with that menace for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's nothing like a serial killer with his a little man tucked between his legs, <laughs> yeah. dancing in front of a mirror to to change your perception of a song. So I might just say that that's from uh, Liberty Rock Radio in GTA 4. I'll quickly change it up. But I'm almost done now. Sipping a cocktail. Your face is brilliant. I know. I'm glad. I'm glad we're not filming this, but I'm, I'm loving it. Mini Ripperton, inside inside my love. Another beautiful song. This is like an Ibethan evening or some sort of you know sun caked island. Drinking a tequila sunrise, nice slow drink. Just enjoying life. Sun tickling down. You know what this is done? This is sitting on top of a skyscraper in the middle of Liberty City, watching the sun go down over the bridge, away from the traffic noise. You're on top oh, of the like rooftop. It. You know, you're, you're, you're watching the city go through its, its, uh, its routine, its momentum, its rhythm. Oh, man, yeah. You seduced me, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> you had me at, I'm on top of the skyscraper. <laughs> you had right. me at rhythm. Almost done. The next one, I'm not even gonna play my next one because it's gonna come in later. I'm not even gonna play that one. I'm gonna go with this straight into a little bit of Richie. A little bit of Running With The Night, yeah. Lionel Richie. Now, Where is he? Have you forgotten to put him on? I think I have. I'm, oh. I'm a bit soft with the Richie. And again, this is from Flash. GTA Vice City. Good grief, I've chosen a lot of 80s songs. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. I won't talk any further because we'll go straight <coughs> into the sounds of the country. I've got two tickets for paradise. Won't you pack your bags for me? Oh, yeah, badass. Here yeah. we go, out in the range. Yeah. Dan playing the old air guitar. Man, we should have a, we should have a web, webcam for this, really. I haven't got one, or three, or even six. I got. <laughs> Two tickets to paradise. There he is. Yeah. Yeah, you're loving it. I hope this is as good listening back as it feels right now. Because I've got an awful feeling I'm never living this down. Um, yeah, I love this track. Excellent. Yeah. I absolutely love this track. Not as much, possibly, as I love this next song. Again, if I can find it. Here it is. This to a lot of people. Tragically, will be tinged forever with the Marmite commercial. Oh yeah, this is no, Wars. This isn't for me. Low Rider. 
This dies, is on Master Sounds in GTA San Andreas. The reason I absolutely adore this song is because you love was, Marmite. Because I love Marmite. I love it and I don't hate it too. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's because there's a skate video from the early 90s called uh, Blinds Video Days, widely regarded, as in brackets, by me, as the seminal skateboard video. Directed by Spike Jones, who right. you'll know from yeah. uh, Where the Wild Things Are and uh, various other yeah. acclaimed indie movies. Now, Jason Lee's in it, who right. we know from My Name is Earl, who yeah. I actually knew when I was a teenager as one of the world's best skateboarders. Mm. And this this video was like a real breakthrough skate video. It's like the ultimate indie lo-fi skate video. Loads of footage of the guys just gaffing around in a big fat low rider car just honking along on dusty tracks into cut with skateboarding footage and this is one of the tracks they used right and uh, as a result I super love it yeah I'm not a fan of this one well there we are then so sorry to rain on you well uh, that's my parade <laughs> well and truly yeah. rained on yeah. here it is there Ice Cube is. check yourself before you flump yourself it's not that. <laughs> From Radio Los Santos, GTA San Andreas. Gotta go with a little bit of the cube. Yeah, it's good actually, this one. Damn good track. I'm ge generally not a fan of, uh, of hip hop, but I'm, <laughs> I like this one. Again, I'm glad we're not filming this because I'm doing the gang yeah. signs. It's, it's, and it looks so natural. Yeah, middle aged Welshman. Yeah, that's look, brilliant. Looks so natural on you. Nothing wrong with that. Finally. Guns N' Roses, Welcome to the Jungle, yeah. from Radio X, GTA San Andreas. This was chosen for the action trailer of yeah, San Andreas that's right, yeah. for very, very good reason. Yeah. This song rocks all the axes. It's amazing. Including the axes woo! rose. Axes rose, yeah. yeah. Tim, I just went woo. <laughs> I know you did. In a room with and me. And you're still you. playing that air guitar, yeah. Dan. But come on, listen to it, baby! Goes. This song is amazing. <laughs> Can't believe I'm doing this. This yeah. song's amazing, Tim. Save me from my misery. Okay, you do some songs. All right. Please. So that was uh, Dan's. Uh, to be honest, Dan, we we compiled our list separately. You cheated a bit because you did 15 instead of 10. Uh, and I, I did just, cheat. I, well, did... I actually not one or two out, so I did 14. Right, uh. 14. Okay, I did 10. And actually, a couple of them have, um, you've already talked about. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Africa made my top ten. Yes. Uh, Out of Touch by Hall & Oates made my top ten. And did you do Oxy Oxygen? Yes. Yes, you did yes. do Oxygen. That also made my top ten. But we've still got seven hotties uh, on, the, on the list, ready to rumble. Okay, so, first up. You didn't touch anything in GTA 3, Dan. Now, I don't know whether it's because you didn't like the music in that or because you didn't uh, really get the vibe as much. To me, I don't think G I think it'd be fair to say that GTA 3 hasn't got, uh, a, hasn't got as good a soundtrack as the other games. I think that's fair to say. But what it did have was a really, really good classical music station, which was loved by the Mafia families in, uh, in the game. And whenever I listen to this tune here, Dan, it reminds me of playing without, or doing missions. Without, without looking, Tim, I want you to tell me the name of the track. Okay, it's O Mio Babino Caro. Tim Weaver wins the grand yes. prize! Come on. Yeah. I love this song. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't uh, it? It's absolutely beautiful, and it reminds me so much of like driving around doing these missions for the Mafia guys. It's so long since I played GTA 3 mm. that I can't quite remember specific missions even but I just remember driving around going up to the the Don's house getting them and driving around and listening to this beautiful beautiful song an interesting fact Dan fact me up Tim this song was in the PlayStation 2 version of GTA 3 but not in the Xbox and PC version well so that's a shame because this is this for me was the outstanding track from uh, from GTA 3 on Xbox, they replaced it with Scatman. <laughs> Scatman, yeah, they did, yeah. That worked. That's not true. No. That's just beautiful. Another terrible joke. Beautiful song. You should have seen by the look in my eyes, baby. There was something missing. They got a bit of uh, what oh, I yeah. like to call keep on 
Loving You by Ario Speedwagon. Oh, oh that's just yeah. coming on our earphones right now. And I think oh, Tim and I had that little yeah. special tingle together, that yeah. little moment. Oh, lovely bit of piano and this voice is just like bingo. Just what track is this from? Uh, this is... Um, this is from Emotion 98.3. Oh, damn Emotion. Yeah. But um, this is, I just remember, like, belting across the bridge in, in Vice City, listening to this, belting out as you... Yeah. Oh, man, yeah, this song is just... <laughs> it really hits the spot, is not it? Here we go. Boom! God bless you, because... I hope that we managed to mix this so the sound kicks in <laughs> yeah, at the right. same time as we're making these stupid noises. Okay, Dan, next. We're going to have a little oh, cheeky bit of we, probably one of the best songs ever written. Are we, are we honestly going to rock it now? Let's rock yeah. it now then. Let's All have right. it. And this is the song I was talking about earlier where I said it could have been recorded yesterday and you wouldn't be able to tell. It's uh, it's just... Oh, man. I'm in the club. Oh, that bass line. This is where I can use my word, my favourite word of the day. Yes. Fresh. This is fresh. It's because it, 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 it sounds so, so like, could have been written yesterday. And the weird thing is, it's so unlike Bobby McFerrin's other work. <laughs> <laughs> What? Who's it? Who did this? It's, uh, uh, what's his name again? Mickey J. Oh, Michael Jacks, of course he is. Yeah. This, this song is, is just the, it's the quintessential club classic. I can't think of a single occasion where people are being asked to dance where this isn't appropriate. It's the ultimate wedding track. It's a cool club track. It's completely fresh. It's completely contemporary. You know, one of the defining songs from an artist who was on top of his game and perhaps you know the greatest pop star of all time mm. whatever you think about him what a track yeah I just remember the, my most recent memory of this was uh, with that Matt, Martin Bashir documentary you remember that <laughs> yeah, where, yeah, he, yeah. where he watched Michael Jackson like recording uh, songs and uh, he said how'd you come up with um, yeah, how'd you come up with these songs and he just said I don't know they just sort of come to me like and he started doing it. He knew instantly it was Billy oh, Jean. Man. Brilliant. Good old Jacko. R.I.P. Jacko. All right. Right, next. Dan admitted that this song makes him go a little bit I'm gonna, weak in all I'm three of his legs. I apologise in advance. People who know me know the song makes me weak like a baby. I'm weak like a baby already, too. Uh, Together in Electric Dreams, Dan, by Phil O'Key and, of course, Giorgio Moroder. Moroder associated quite a lot with the Scar Scarface soundtrack. I, I actually, honestly, I don't want to speak. I don't want to ruin it. It's a great song. Oh, do you know what? When I hear this song, it's going to make me sound like a madman, right? I'm flying, right, in my subconscious like that, like the snowman. Through a world of unicorns. Yeah. And I'm flying, and you can't see this, right? But I'm waving my hands like I'm swimming, but I'm flying. And I'm like going through the clouds, and it's like sunbeams and rainbows and unicorns. And I'm thinking, here we go. I only knew you for a while. I never saw your smile. Oh my god, I'm gone, Tim. In fairness, Dan, your voice is equally as good as Phil Oki. Oh, isn't it just... Legendarily I, awful. I've got a cold and I'm tone deaf on the best of days. But uh doesn't make a difference, but lovely song. I friggin' love this song. A little anecdote. I won't even bore people with it. On my stag do, I was desperate to hear this song. Absolutely desperate. And the boys took me to an 80s club. Yeah. It was the best 80s club I've ever been to. It's somewhere in Brighton. If you live in Brighton, you'll know where it is. It was absolutely sensational. It was full of people who were far too young to have known the 80s, but were there lapping it up ironically. Not granddad to you. No. I was here lapping it up like I was there first time around, doing the old unicorn cloud yeah. tickle dance. Yeah. With a couple of my buddies and a couple of brews, it's just about the most euphoric I've ever felt. Right. I freaking love this song, Tim. Okay, I love it. Good. Well, I think that's safe to say that that will probably end up making our top ten. It's making every list I'm ever going to make. Okay, next up we got a bit of the old cheeky. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take it down a notch here, Dan. We're gonna get rid of the synths. Take it, take it down. And we're gonna have a little bit of reggae. Tell me warm in you. Keep on talking to you. Pressure drop by Toots and the Matles. Took the words out of my mouth. 
good old toots. Mm, 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 Can I have a bit of weaver singing mm, now? Mm, mm, <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Love it. I'm loving it. I'm up. Forget the show. Let's just listen to music. Yeah. I love it. This is such a great song. This reminds me of like I, I never, I never. I never liked San Andreas' soundtrack loads, but there were just a few songs on there that I just loved. And this reminds me of belting through the, the country and just like chilling out to, a sound of, to the sound of toots and the matals. This reminds me of being in like, in my gap year, being in some of the uh, islands of the Asian region. Oh yeah? Just, anyway, that's the story for another day. Okay, <laughs> next up, another song that's brilliant as you're belting through the countryside in San Andreas. Ah, uh, yeah. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. What's this, Tim? He just said it. Ed Bruce don't just said it. Yeah. Mamas, don't let you... I've, I've written, don't let you babies. Uh, mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Yeah, this song's brilliant. The lyrics are fantastic in this as well. This is like rock star curating perfectly it's a song that you'd never normally listen to or be exposed to and it, com it comes on the soundtrack and it's instantly one of your favourite songs of all time yeah it's brilliant it just works so well in the context uh, you know where you, it's just got the minute you hear this you think of like open skies and just like you know not uncluttered highways as you're belting along and the, there's nothing in front of you and you've just got vast kind of swathes of land around you amazing that lovely sort of slide steel guitar as well, which yeah. really makes it makes it feel so nice, you know. Okay, so next up, we're going to move away from San Andreas on the GTA 4, Dan, and we're going to go for a cheeky little bit of this bad boy. Oh, man. I can't control my feet, Tim. Oh, my hips. This is the original. I think it was remixed for uh, GTA 4, Dan. By is it? Sebastian. But uh, that's why it sounds a bit different. But Yeah, this is great, isn't it? But this is actually better version because it gets straight into it. Whereas the Sebastian version doesn't. So the listeners who have had to have uh, listened to us wibble on for a bit. One, I can actually, finally, about 15 minutes into the show, release one fact about GTA 5. <laughs> okay, It's go. not even a fact, it's a rumour. Kavinsky is rumoured... Who, of course... This, whose song this is? Yes. Which, oh, sorry, I forgot to say this is Testarossa Auto Drive by Kavinsky. Yep. And Kavinsky is rumoured to be looking after one of the radio stations on GTA 5, which is supposed to be called Nightwide FM. Yeah. Um, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, whether it happens or not, I don't know, but he's certainly been one of the games before. His vibe is absolutely spot on. Yeah, I mean, his music is very. Um... It's sort of very synthy and kind of like that. Uh, you can imagine, like, be, you know, like driving through the city at night, you know, like, just he's got that kind of vibe. You know, if you've seen the movie Drive, you'll know that he uh, his music's featured in that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's got that real. It doesn't surprise me that. It, it wouldn't surprise me if. Not, what's it called? Nightfire. What do you say the radio station was called? Nightfire. No, what? Uh, Nightwide FM. That sounds, that sounds perfect. Okay, next. Oh, no, and that's it, Dan, because the next one was uh, Oxy Gin by uh, Jean-Michel Jarre. Well, we're in the unenviable position of whittling down all that emotive madness. Actually, before we go on, yeah. can I just give a quick shout-out to a couple of others that I love? Oh, go on, have a little that, cheeky shout-out. That, that we never, uh, we never, I didn't, they didn't quite make my top ten. Uh, Get Down Saturday Night by Oliver Cheatham from Fever 105 in Vice yes. City. Love that. Uh, Vice City Stories, Bit of Sexual Healing by Mar Marvin Gaye. Oh, well, when I get that feeling. Yeah. Uh, it's My Life by Talk Talk. Check out the video for that if you haven't already. Bizarro, to say the least. Uh, San Andreas, Don't Be Cruel by Bobby Brown. Yeah, good track. Also, this one is. Uh, this was this was touch and go. All right, go on, let's play it. Okay. Tim, where do all your previous girlfriends live? <laughs> well done. It's funny you should say, but uh, this guy knows... But all my exes live in Texas. That's right. You all my said. exes live in Texas by George Strait. This is a great tune. Awesome. Again, yeah. lyrics are brilliant in this. Anyway, quickly on uh, Cross the Tracks by Matthew and the Max. Uh, Fool's Gold by Stone Roses. Express Yourself by NWA. And then GTA 4, Inner City Blues by Marvin Gaye. 007 Shantytown. 
by yep. Desmond Decker. That's a great tune. And uh, Put that on there for you. There we go. Just change the tone. Right, come on. Are we almost in a position to do the yeah. ten? And just one, two more. Go on then. Love Changes Everything by Climby Fisher, which uh, was in the uh, episodes from Liberty City. Only yeah. mention it because it's the first song I ever bought. And Buffalo Stance by Nana Cherry, because I used to fancy it. Okay, let's crack on. We've got to pick ten. Yeah. Um, it's difficult because whether you, it's difficult to say number one is the best track of all time mm. um, because it might depend on the mood you're in. But we're going to pick ten as our definitive play to an alien playlist, right? Yeah. So let's pick number ten as the the one to get the party started. All right. Right. What one track of all our tracks, Tim, is the one to get people right in the vibe? I'd have to say it's either Billie Jean. Yeah. Because that'll get people up straight away. Yeah. Or what was the other one you said? This is the one to get them started. I like Herbie Hancock, wouldn't it? Rocket. I like Rocket. Or I would go with Tits and Acid. Yeah, I think that's a bit hardcore. I think that's a bit harsh. But Billy Jean's like inclusive. It'll get everyone up. What if, right? This is madness. What if we need to start with a, a mood setter, a tone setter, something like Philip Glass's Prout I Go at number ten? Is that too? Is that too brooding? How about a truncated version of Prout I Go? I don't know. You're not feeling it, are you? I think you got you got like you go out the you go out the traps with like a killer track, don't you? And then you bring the you bring the mood back in, and yeah, I I think for me, Billy Jean I think is like the as soon as you hear that, din, 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 you're gonna be like, well, we're, we're going in, we're going in on Billy Jean. We're going in on Billy Jean. Right, Billy Jean, number one. Right, we've done a bit of Billy Jean. We're so on a high. Like, yeah, we're, we're absolutely on. euphoric. Yeah. I would suggest the only way is up, and the only way to go up from there is with Phil Collins, Phil Collins and Philip Bailey, Easy Lover. There it is. Dan, I wouldn't, I wouldn't argue against you on this one. Do you like you I like think, Easy Lover, right? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's got a real '80s vibe that sums up the uh, the Vice City games beautifully. Right. We've gone there, so we don't we've got eight songs left. I think after two, after two quite yeah, robust yeah, yeah. songs, we we've need something to scale it, it back. Yeah, you yeah. got to scale it back a little bit with something a little bit like you know easy and you know like so you can sit back, have a glass of wine or a you know bottle of beer and just soak it in. Yeah. So what are you thinking, Dan? I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe a little bit of oxygen or something like that. But it's yeah. Yeah, it needs to be something, or, or maybe even your Philip uh, Philip Glass Glass one. You know. Well, let's let's break it down. It's, we're going to make it a straight head to head between Jean Michel Jarre yeah. and Philip Glass. Fight. Okay, here they uh, go. We'll see. So obviously, Jean Michel Jarre takes twenty minutes to get going, but when he does, it's nice, isn't it? It's, it's nice. Like it gets you, it gets you in the place right there, in the happy place. But can I make a case for the other one, which I've forgotten? Philip Glass. Philip Glass and his misspelt and his, I go. and his typo. So you know, I, I, I contend that after a bit of the absolute, you know, the electric sizzle, of Phil <laughs> Collins. <laughs> You're looking. You, you need a few sizzle, a few sizzles, a I'd few seconds. I'd love to have seen that on yeah. the front of his album. <laughs> Electric sizzle. You need almost like now. You, you're sort of your tight leather dancing trousers are emanating steam. You're sizzling. Yeah. You're back at the bar for a, a little top up. You're getting like a little short cocktail or a freezing cold beer. You want like these thirty seconds of chill day, mm. and it's brooding and it's building. And in fact, it's going to get a little bit funky and frenetic right about now. So I would suggest a little bit of this. Maybe you think it starts to get sad. It takes a long time to get going as well, doesn't it? That's the only thing. Yeah, maybe it makes you feel like you're dying. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think let's go with Jar. Right, go with Jean Michel Jar then. Yeah, I think Jar keeps up the the. There's a little bit of like a rhythm to it and stuff. I mean, Philip Gla the Philip Glass song just feels a little bit like the end is nigh, you know. Ironically, the uh, Philip Glass song is more jarring. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so after um, after something a bit more relaxing, Dan, do you do you do you crank it up a notch, or do you keep it on the on the low key? Uh, what I do is you go through a gear change, but not all the way to the top. So no. I think you've got to go like up from, from Jean Michel Jarre, but still keep it contemplative but surging. Yeah. Now this for me would throw a couple of tracks into the mix. One would be Africa's Toto. Yeah. Another might be. Mm. Maybe I ran by Flock of Seagulls. I'd be, I'd, 
I'd like to chuck in a pressure drop there as well, Dan. Well, let's, Re let's just... Reggae is, you know, it gives you like it's it's feel good, you know, but it's not so like it's not hardcore, you know. You don't feel like it's like, oh man, this is a bit of. A... Okay, I'm going to give that a whirl now and just see there if that is, works. Just there. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, you? there he is. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like the the, the segue between those two is Tim. You sold me. This oh, is what it is. Yeah, it's number nice. seven. It's in there. Now. Because again, this is taking me to a desert island, yeah. And I'm there. I can't, I can't go straight from there into a cold bath of electro. No. Where am I going to go from here? Is this where I go to Africa? It could be, yeah. Maybe you go to Africa after this. Let's just see how that feels after. Because from Africa, you could, you can step it up a notch. It feels right, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So number yeah. six, Africa. Yeah. Toto. Okay. Now I feel ready. A kick into the top five. A blaze. I think we need something. You need you need to crank it up a notch here. I'd be I'd be tempted either something like Kavinsky or maybe that other. What was the one? Uh, tits and acid. Let's, let's give both a little cheeky whirl. The trouble is we haven't got. We're not listening to the remixed version of Kavins the Kavinsky one here, which is yeah. absolutely brilliant and much better than the original. So we're a little bit. Uh, okay, tits and acid here. Ah, oh, I'm basically ready to start rocking it out. Okay, yeah. You're definitely up and going. Oh, it's a bit intense there. Is it too intense, though, Dan? Can you be too intense? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's big and it's hard. Now, now, whether it's that or Kavinsky. What I like, uh, the, the, the trouble is we haven't quite got the right Kavinsky one here, so we yeah. can't. This but... one's a bit more full in, isn't it? I think I think the, the advantage Kavinsky's got is it the tits and acid one sounds too hardcore to me. Like the, the I don't know, I, I'd be tempted to go for Kavinsky. Tim, I'm, 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 I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you decide, Dan. I'm going I'm to give you Kavinsky. I'm right. calling in a favour later on. All right, fine. Let's have Kavinsky then. Okay. Number four. We're getting right down to the sharp end now, Tim. Yeah. Okay. After that, then. And if you bear in mind, there's two songs absolutely have to be in there. Yeah. I'm writing them down now. We've done that. We've, We've done, done that. It. We've done yeah, it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to write it down in front of your eyes, Tim, so okay. you know. And you know what it is. Yeah. It's uh, like, I've forgotten its name, even though it's my favourite song. <laughs> Electric Dreams, maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that absolutely, well, that's got to be pretty high up for me. Yeah. So we've got four tracks to make all this, this nexus of brilliance okay. work. I think, I think you could probably, you could afford to go for something equally high tempo here. Maybe not of the, uh, like the, maybe not of this type, but you could have something that really keeps it, keeps can, it, keeps it up there. Can we go? Is this too downbeat though? Maybe it's a bit downbeat afterwards. We're talking about Hall and Oates right here. Yeah. Maybe it takes Out it too far down, and... doesn't it? Yeah, it might be a bit. I don't know. I love this song, but this is like this is this is a nice tune. We're playing but... Summer Madness now. I don't know. This does it's... this maybe work or not? Should we maybe do this instead of Jean Michel Jarre? Yeah. I think my we, yeah. We sorry, Jean Michel Jarre, you're yeah. off the list. Number eight is gone. The new number eight is Summer Madness by Cool and the Gang. Summer Madness because we love it. Yeah. Do you know what I might drop in here, just as a nod to uh, San Andreas? Yeah. Because we've given it no okay. respect whatsoever. What I think we should do is drop in right with a little bit of Ice Cube or a bit of N.W.A. Okay. It feels right, Tim. Yeah, I like Express Yourself by NWA. Yeah. There we go. That's Wowzers. in there. Who'd have thought at last NWA have reached number four in the ultimate GTA hot chart? Oh, this, is, yeah. this is the right choice. This is great. Three songs left, Tim. Okay. Um, is 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 your favour going to be Electric Dream somewhere in here? It's got to work in the top three. I, right. I can't go there yet. I'm not. It's too elegiac after this. All right. How about then? Something. We need something mid mid. I think we see, we got three spots left, right? We need something middling. Yeah. And then we need to bring it right back down again, and then we zing out with electric dreams. Yeah. All right. So Can we, need, we go? We need something sort of not slow, but mid tempo. I reckon. This is uh. I ran. I ran with flock, by of, flock seagulls. of seagulls. Do you know I'm gonna drop in a song we haven't previously mentioned. Hello. But in my mind, it feels like this could be the way to go now. I might get, be getting this hideously wrong, and you might be closing the door on me, Tim, never to return after our first kiss. Yeah. But I think this could be the track. Now, where is it? 
It's wrong. I've got it wrong, Tim. Yeah. You've left me. You're the voice by John. John Farnham. Farnham's. You're the voice. It's no, wrong. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. We need something mid-tempo, Dan. Something that's something that's just it doesn't slow it all the way down. But no, I'm not a big fan of two tickets. Oh to man, would it be crazy to do Herbie Hancock here? Not only do I think it wouldn't be insane, I think it might be the right choice. Go from Express Yourself by NWA to Herbie Hancock. I think that, I think that might just work, you know. It's the winner, Tim. It's number three. Right. Rock it. Two left. Okay. Right. I think it has to be something slow and powerful, and then you're going with Electric Dreams. Right. What song? You've got one song. I've got Electric Dreams, Tim. You pick your number two. All right. I want O oh Mio Babino Caro. Mental. It's mental, but it's it's a nod towards classical music, which hasn't been very well represented in this list. I wouldn't say at all. And the amazing thing is, I now get the pleasure of announcing that I've just told you. The number <laughs> one's really obvious, isn't it? The it number is. one I can exclusively reveal <laughs> is... The song I really like, whose name I forget, but I love it more than <laughs> Electric anything. Dreams, Dan. Electric Dreams. Yep. Okay, so there's our top ten. We've worked out. Dan, do you want to read out our, our the, the this is in order of not in order of brilliance, but how they're going to be on the album. Okay. Right. Number ten. Billy or, or should it be number one? Because it opens up because it's opening up the album. Track one. All right, track one on the album, Billy Jean, yep. Michael Jackson. Yeah. We're going straight then into number two. Easy Lover yeah. by Phil Collins and Philip Bailey. Number three, Summer Madness. By Cool and the Gang. Yes. Bit of a tonal shift, but it's right. Number seven, Pressure Drop. By Toots and the Matles. Number six, Africa by Toto. Number five, Kavinsky. T- Testa Rossa Auto Drive. Number four, NWA. Express Yourself. Number three, Rocket. By Herbie Hancock. Number two, O Mio Babino Caro by some guy from an opera. And number one, we'll always be together. Yes, we will. Together in Electric Dreams. Okay, so that's our top ten. That's the ten songs in the GTA series, all the games that we think are the best. But do you agree with us? We want to hear in your comments below. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to give you the chance to vote on your favourite songs. And we're going to put it to the public vote. We're going to get you to say which ones you love. Maybe you are a real expert in Hispanic music because we certainly don't know anything about any of the Hispanic channels. Uh, and that is where our, our kryptonite is, Dan. Yeah, rock and Latino has been criminally undervalued because of basically the music Tim and I like. So yeah. please give a massive shout out to that. Uh, anything else, any more hip hop or electro you want to give a shout out to, any indie. What we're going to do is we're going to put, well, we've done it already. All these tracks you've been listening to will be available as we speak on a shareable Spotify playlist. So yeah. If you've got the Spotify app on any of your sort of your iPhone, your tablet, you know, anything like that, go online. We will put out the link for you to share in our brilliant ultimate GTA Five O'clock playlist. Where are we going to put that down? Are we going to put this below the video here? It'll hopefully be on screen as we speak. As we speak. Yeah. Okay. And also props in the comments. And then we're going to direct you, hopefully, to CBG, where we're going to be hosting a poll so you can vote on the best GTA tracks of all time. We'll probably end up uh, doing that over the course of the next week or so. So on the next GTA 5 o'clock, we'll give a shout out, set, tell you where to, to uh, go. But in the meantime, do keep an eye on cbg.co.uk, uh, where we will be uh, putting up a story like Dan says. Uh, if you miss it in the meantime, next week, we'll tell you where... You can find it. Are we going to wait a few weeks? Or are we going to reveal the the winners next no, week? No, I think we'll wait a few weeks. We'll, I mean, we'll tell people about the vote next week, where we they do. can go and vote, and then after that, we'll probably give it a week or so, and then we'll come back and we'll have a definitive answer. So you'll be able to have Dan and I's top ten, and then we'll be able to have the readers' top ten as well. Do put your top tens though in the comments below this video, and click on the screen now, and you can subscribe to GTA Five O'clock. We're here every single week at 5 o'clock talking about GTA 5 and the GTA universe as a whole. Dan, have you got anything you want to add? Yeah, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at GTA VO Clock. Uh, we'll put that address on screen as we speak. Community's building. It's been really great so far. Fire us your questions for next week's show. Keep up to date with episodes. 
uh, and all the latest news and hopefully some new trailers and screens soon from Rockstar. So thanks for listening. Uh, it's a bit something a bit different this week. We hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a bit of fun. Uh, we've certainly enjoyed doing it. Uh, again, please get in touch with us and let us know your thoughts, what you want us to look at, that kind of thing. But uh, until next time, thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.